Hello everyone, Delightful here. I like the novel and the new. So today, let's see what the indie world has for me and you. And we have this game here, Warlock 2 The Exiled. Not necessarily a new game, I think it was 2014, but I missed it. Or I glanced at it, I'm like, eh. I mean, it's pretty much Civ 5, but with magic. With a massive, massive, massive influence from Master of Magic. Master of Magic, not Masters, right? Because the whole thing in Masters, Masters of Magic, if you did it, they try, you were trying to cast a spell of mastery to take control of magic, everyone control the mages, right? So it's not Masters. <laughs> the, the mage there wanted to be number one, right? So let's do a new game. There's actually a lot of, there's a campaign. I like, I like the sandbox. So do a new game. And they got this kind of really cool actual visual aesthetic in terms of setting up the, the map, right? I'm on challenging. The game is actually very challenging on challenging. The AI gets huge bonuses. We'll just crush you. A sandbox mode. You have the campaign. You have battle for outplanes. You have the AI for dominance of the outworld shards. So you're going to fight in the different worlds, right? You know how Master of Magic had the Dark World, the Underdark, whatever you want to call it. Or, or, or say, was it... Age of Wonder Shadow Magic has the Shadow Realm. Well, this one has a bunch of outplanes. There's elemental planes. It's really cool, actually. Clear thread, a campaign during which you travel through different worlds towards your goal. Uh, once you do the sandbox, you can pop through different planes. And you can de determine your your objectives, right? You can cast the Spell of Unity, right? The, the big spell, take control of magic. Be the new god of magic. You can capture Holy Grounds, defeat the Avatar. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, super boss, I guess. And defeat the other great mages and take control. That's cool. I'll, I'll go with that. Monster Lair spawns. You can turn that as well. Difficulty. It's a very old aesthetic to a little bit. And you can change the character. Click here. Real customization as well, right? So look at this. Great land. You got super continent. Continents. Mm, I did great land last time, so it's going to be one great land mass. And then you have super continents, I guess. What's the difference between great land and super continent? I think super continent has an ocean. Let's try continents. Let's see how that is. Gravel Great Mages do four. Additional worlds, three. So it could be airplane, fire plane, could be anything ruined world. Map type cylindrical world or flat world. I like my worlds as a sphere, right? Crystal ball. And these gonna I guess the potential other planes. What else can we do? Difficulty, so we check that, we check that. You can be change the character. We get kind of saw this not Merlin kind of guy, the hat. Cause of customize your character. You don't have to be this dude, you can look like a different version. So th these are the characters themselves. You can be these creatures, or you can customize your own, which I'm far more interested in. Don't want to be this dude. Dragon Queen, Stone Dude. <laughs> so yeah, who's the influence there, right? Yeah, another Dragon Queen, Gorgon, Kingpin, King Lich, Ember on the Light. Yeah, he'll do. And it's. <laughs> Massive Vampire Queen vibe to her. She looks pretty cool. Ah, uh, you see the influence there? <laughs> Froggy Master Magic Guy. Uh, he looks cool. And you can choose the, the perks they're going to have. Charismatic's pretty cool, but I've played that last time. Conjurer, more mana. Mana is really important in this. Archmage, I cast spells faster? Meh. Mana Vault, that's going to taper off quickly. Researcher... Elven village. I want elves. Oh, I can change my my race as well. I can be elves. Plain striders, Svarts, kind of sort of dwarves. Humans, undead, naga. Okay, I'll stick with the plain striders. They're pretty eclectic in terms of their abilities. I kind of like that. Fireball. I don't need fireball. I'm not interested in that. Uh, can I take something else? Mm, I need more points. Instructor. Charismatic, I don't care about that either. So I can pull all these points. I do kind of like lesser heal. It's pretty cool. Air support. I guess I can make harpies. <laughs> harpies are cool because they are immune to ranged. Not magic, though. Create artifact. I kind of like the idea of making an artifact. That sounds fun. It can be favored by the gods. I want lesser heal. That sounds fun. I'm not interested in really in throwing fireballs. It doesn't appeal to me. Intolerance, yes. <laughs> the bigot ruler, right? Magnate. Magic. Well, money's good, too. I kind of like Conjurer. Oh, Conjurer's pricey. Archon. Mm. Resistance to melee and 
missile. I'll take that. And then I can get two spells. Uh, I don't know what the colas are. Cleanse the land. Dead world. Start the game on a dead world. Yeah, I could start somewhere else if I want. Mm, an elemental world. And he's kind of an elf, right? I'll start in elf land. So I'll have to find a gate to get here. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Alright, so that's my character now, right? Ember Dawn the Light. That's my preset. It kept it cool. And then I... Is there anything else we need to do? Nope. And see, it'll just click there. If you go back. And we start. And it's procedure generation, so it's going to generate the map. Cool, really cool character there. Really cool armor. Here we go. So yeah, look at this. Elf land, very pretty. Land of sadness and joy. Very cool. So, W, A, S, and D, I can pan the camera around. I can zoom in, zoom out. It's a lot like it's magical Civ 5, pretty much, how it feels. Living plain, wind elementals. So what do I have? I start with some elves, huh? No, no, those are those are archers, because my plane strat abilities, all right? So see if I double click this, it'll kind of sort of, they're, they're automatically working all these tiles, right? Like Civ 5. I can build in these towns. I start with a Strider's Guild that's necessary for recruiting these Strider guys who are actually pretty cool. Think Ranger. Think Strider. It's in the name, right? They... Go yeah, I go along. <laughs> they can heal. And they're kind of irregular units. Right-click over them. So, resistant to life magic. Can heal. They have uh, some resistances from my special ability. And they get four move. Four ticks of move. That's actually not a level up there. I can actually spend money and upgrade their armor cost quite a bit though so I did that by accident when I first started and like Civ 5 right each unit is limited to one per tile right and they're doom stacks that was pulled from Civ 4 right mm, what do I want to do we start your spell so I'll tell you what to do mm -hmm. so there are many many different spell lines I guess sorcery and wizardry I don't really see the difference between them I guess wizardry is more elemental and sorcery is more life magic shadow magic Master of Life and Death, it seems. I have a heal. I can go to Fertile Lands. But I'm, I'm in the Feywild. I'm in the Fairy World, so I don't think I'd need that. Knife Bolt? Nah. Maybe Shadow Bolt here. Uh, I'm actually feeling melee resistance. Because I can, I can just enchant my units. That seems a solid choice. Healing. Better healing, though. I'll take melee resistance so I can buff up my units so they'll stick around. Construct buildings. They, they, they guide you through it. What do I need? This faction here. Gray striders. Yes, yes, yes. So gray striders. They like gold, right? But I can also recruit uh, planar warriors who are skeletons, actually, because it's a very eclectic faction. They require a bit of mana, so you have to feed them. I believe the the archers only need money as well. On the way of the bow. Yes, yes, yes. Way of the bow. Oh, she wants food too, so I have to feed her. So how this works is food is converted to gold is not used. Money is money and mana is mana, right? And then pretty much you want to build on whatever it wants here. So these are living planes. Oh my god, living planes. It hurts undead even being here. Oh. Oh. Well, okay, I guess I won't be using undead. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll, just, I'll just avoid these planes. Oh, it's so cool. Living planes. Oh, the undead are going to have issues here. I like that. So just, right, Good thing I saw that. Magic smithy. I can make even better gear, but I don't have to pay for that. The harbor? I have a, I have a coast, so I could do that. Obviously, I have... A, oh, I start with the smithy. I have a smithy here that costs me two gold. Let's me make fine armor. I have the striders guild, and I have a farm. Well, obviously, I want to build another farm. I... And the, the amount of building... It doesn't cost you anything to build. It just costs you time. You can only build one structure at once, and then you can recruit one Shadows unit at the same time. Gray. Yes, yes, yes. So obviously I'm going to recruit another great strata. Two turns, that automatically deducted it. Let's see, cancel that, say 100. And now, what are you? You look threatening. It's a wind elemental. High resistances, I should probably stay away from that. Measure of its strength is 25 hit points. Attack is range 2, so it's got a range me. Cool thing about this game, I'm in like, you know, member, if you remember Master of Magic, I'm in my tower, right? I think it near me I can blast them for fireball. So I'm actually kind of safe here. I can pull all these troops out. Oh, I think the, oh what's that? 
So I need to be careful. Yes, yes, Grace Striders. So to, to move, you left click and then left click again. It's not right click. Grace Striders are cool because they scout very quickly. Is this plane small? Maybe. Maybe the planes are smaller than the main world. Impassable terrain. Yeah, it's like a, I'm in a pocket dimension or something. Cool. I mean, it's. I'm cool. I don't want to lose my archer. I dare not explore it. Then I'll hide in the capital. And a new unit is available. Thank you. They're telling me that I can make a new unit. Yes, I did that. And then I've researched. Gold coming in. That's my research. List of units. I have two. That's my diplomacy menu. The other characters who are in. I have this perk. And a turn. Oh my god. Okay. That was bad. The wind elemental. Immune to banes, okay. Heavy resistance. I have to blow him apart with magic. So I kind of wish I had the fireball now. Hmm. Well. Yeah, so the monsters in this game are fierce, right? You remember, say, from Civ 5, the barbarians would kind of hedge you in a bit. Or well, in this one, they have monsters, they're always coming. So it makes uh, it kind of checks unchecked exploration, which is good. Shadows of Grey. Actually, heal him with herbal magic. That doesn't cost me anything, I don't believe. I don't think. I'm taking damage. I should have leveled him a little bit, right? All right, they're building that. I can't. The way of the bow. Yes, yes, yes. I'm kind of hedged in a little bit here. I can defend. Okay, so those are produced now. You're kind of bugging me. You caught a bug. Yeah, so I know they can hit from one away, right? They have a range, two, sight range two, and sight range two. Attack range two, there it is. They're the same thing. So I'm going to have to go through one of these guys. Oh, and I got some silver there, too. As the city expands, that, that value there goes up. I can... Ex uh, well, I can build in more tiles. Oh, wow. I can engage something from here. See, the, the tower's engaging. Deals massive damage. That's fine. I can deal with them from there and push this way. Excellent. Shadows of Grey. Like, range 2 is pretty fearsome. I don't want to lose any troops. Like, if I... So, but if you want, if you have a unit clicked, you right-click off them and then double-click here. I currently, if I show my... Show all my buildings here, or show the building tree. I have the Smithy, Striders Guild, Magic Smithy. It's quite a building tree. That's mana. <laughs> like, it's harvesting it from the sun. I like that. Elven bungalow, everything, harbor, fortresses, mage towers. Those are like towers that will additionally attack. I was trying to see what my mist tower. It's pretty cool. Like certain structures can be built on certain resources. Like on that silver, I should probably build a mine, probably. Yes. Yeah, I might. I think I the smart bet is just wait. All right, so the farm was produced, right? All right, so that's giving me more gold per turn because eight, eight of it's being sold to produce money for me, which is good. I only have one money coming in. Oh, it's so cool. Actually, I should just produce tons of farms. But I do have to balance the other things I want to produce. So I don't want planar warriors because they're in deads. Planar archers? Do I want archery? What does the greenery do, I wonder? Well, it tell me. Barracks. I know what a greenery does. It stores food, but what's its function in the game? Does it. Food production 50%. Yards. We want this. We want the planar archers. Okay. So where do I put them? Hmm, living planes, living planes, living planes. I'm finding the creepiest tile I can put them on. Oh, whatever, put them there. That's fine. Yeah, so defend. We'll get a defensive boost. Indeed. Look how tactical and intense the game is. No movements. Yeah, because I healed you. Okay. 
Ah, I can make a settler now, yeah. So, settler. I don't want a settler just yet. I mean, I wouldn't mind one. They're pricey. And I want to pay for the upkeep. Like, I don't... I want to know. I need to scout more before I make another one. So I'll actually make another Grey Strider. Okay, cool. Bye bye So, one, two. I think I think can shoot three out. It's awesome. We go long! <laughs> go long, man. That's a wind elemental nest. I can be I can loot this monster nest. Yay, got 50 mana. Awesome. Now unlike Ooh, it's not a dragon turtle. It's a whirlpool of a Leviathan. Sounds horrifying. Yeah, it's it's a okay. Home waters. You know, I don't think I should engage this creature. Attack eleven, hit points twenty. There are many legends of great fish called Leviathans that swim into the oceans of Ardania. That's the main world. But there are a few living persons who could actually say they've seen such a fish. So in the, in the, I guess the Feywild, the Fairy Realm, we have stronger creatures because it's suffused of life, right? And there's anti and death, right? There's a dead world, which is probably the opposite, right? Cool. More living planes. Awesome. Right click. Pull my units down. Yeah, yeah, Grey Striders. <laughs> you can turn off unit acknowledgements if it really upsets you. I mean, these, these, they kind of amuse me, though. Thank you. You can also double click if you don't want to wait. These guys are good scouts. The undead you can get are really cool, but I dare not use them here. Because they will melt yes. away. I think they can hide in my farm. <laughs> Some archers out too. This is a good expansion group. Oh, the archers have nice move too. Look at that. Five. Whew. That's excellent. I don't know if you can... Navy... Do you have a range attack? I mean, sight range too. I don't think it will step into the land. Is it like a like a mud carp? Is it a magic carp? Is it like a I don't know? Can like what are, what are those fish that can kind of sort of flop around on the water? Out of the water? I think they're catfish, right? Kind of sort of looks like that. I don't know if it can. We'll find out. It did not. A Yay. new spell has been researched. My Excellent. Lord. So I actually don't want to cast a spell, but I can use this to increase the, the the stiffness of my melee. Give them a little bit more resistance. Create artifact is free? How does this work? Okay, yeah, I kind of figured. Okay, so I can create a sharp blade. 10% melee damage. I need the spell True Sight for melee protection. So if I do that, and then I can decide to melee range, a magic, and an armor. Gives me range protection, and... Ooh, I can go. Oh my. Oh. Flight. <clears throat> yeah. So that was a thing with the first. With the, with the yeah, because the, Master of Magic is actually being remade. But the original Master of Magic, the one's currently out. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> that one I used to play on Impossible all the time. Just crush the AI. The way to do it was to be very careful and carefully build up a powerful hero and gear them up with so many things and just tear through their armies. That was how you did it. Requires a moonwalk. <laughs> can I go to the moon? Yes, the items you can make are pretty cool. Points left to create an artifact. Demon summoning. Okay. All kinds of really cool things. You know, power plus 10%. Hmm. Like, I wonder who can wield these things. You can give them, like, regular units. Or do you have to give it to, like, a hero? I don't have a hero yet. Power stone. He I mean, honestly, the, if I want to create a magic item, I want to give him a healing spell. Cool, though. Research a spell. Range resistance is quite nice. Healing. Better healing. Heals for 12 as opposed to 4. Costs. Oh, and look at the deal. It's cost. It's much cheaper as well. I mean, you... Per, cop, per per hit point healed is cheaper, obviously it costs more. Cast a little slower. Restore some health to a friendly unit except undead in buildings. I can't heal buildings like that. Moonwalk is haste. Okay. So yeah, you can butt up the divines and get unique spells as well. Elemental resistance. Oh, there's also a lot more too. Yeah. Magic ward. Mm, prophetic dreams. Harvest blessing is awesome. I kinda want that. So I think I, I think I'll push this route here. Double elem, oh, frost weapons. All this units attack inflict additional elemental damage. That's pretty good. 
So you know, I don't have to necessarily go in a line like that. Let's take like frost weapons. That just counts as elemental uh, damage, like fireball, lightning bolts, frost. So I'll just consider it elemental. Then go the extra granularity of fire, lightning, frost. You know that stuff. Acid. I... Oh, is it the edge? Maybe the elemental planes are tiny. What's that? It's a living forest. Oh, I didn't appreciate how tiny this one is. I wonder, did I make a small world by mistake? I don't think I did. Hmm. Ah, oh, those are the planes. Yeah. I'm here. Mag Magnet, the elven world. And that's the home world, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Well, probably I have to get over there. So I think I'm going to have to make... Yeah, I'm going to have to make a... Well, I, if I could bait you out, that'd be cool. But I've kind of went over there. It's not going to come... Like, I need a dock. Right? Is there, like, is there anything over there I want? Shadows of gray. I don't think so. We go long. Yeah, 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 go long. I don't like it being there. It annoys me. Don't you run. And I can engage from here, yeah. So you said like, uh, I said five. I don't know if I get an attacking bonus when I have him flanked like this. From multiple points. Not, that's not a pure flank, because I need like go through a line right here or here. I like this attack grid. I'll just go over here. Can't attack a flying unit in melee. Mmm, you're right. You're right, I can't. Makes sense. Makes sense. Maybe he'll attack me. The arrogant creature didn't attack. Huh. Shadows of gray. Well, I guess we'll all defend we around it. I say it's, it's a bit of a hiccup, isn't it? Master Magic did the same thing, right? I can recruit units. I, I mean, obviously, I need a harbor. Pro Population is insufficient. Crap. Well. Like, I don't know how much my city's going to expand. It's, like, I, I think... Is it, it's like one, two out? I need a boat. And I wish I know this island was this small. We're losing money a turn, too. You know, it's... Gray Striders. I had assumed I could attack this guy with melee. That was a mistake on my end. Hmm. Did you make... Oh, you can make archers do that. There we go. To the city. He's just gonna keep Don't healing. Yeah, I don't have to. I mean, I can keep leveling her up. That's about all I can do, though. Ugh, that is annoying. F. F, right? Oh, what spells do I have? That uh, makes me wish I really had kept the fireball. Oh well. Okay. Yes. We'll just pelt them with arrows. Target confirmed. Yay, level! So, like, so five, right? What do we want to do? We want to resistance, bonus, damage, right? There we go. So now it's 10. That's cool. And see that they're almost to where I want to be. More archers? Why not? Oh, I can afford them. Mm. Excuse me, I can't go over there. It's like pocket dimension. Oh, isn't, I think this is only self-healing, yeah. To the caster, yeah, I can't use him, them as pocket healers to heal my archers. Oh, well. On your word. 
On the way of the bow. I mean, the money I'm getting from food should be enough. I hate to have to do it. Shadows of Grey! He also quite fancy. On the way of the bow. Yeah, I can just ban them. Kind of have to. Horrible. Eleven minus six for upkeep plus. So minus one point five. And so you see, procedure generated. It's just. I wish they'd let me know that I wouldn't be able to extend out here. I thought this was some kind of magic thing. Not a waste, it's just... We go long. When this finally goes up, I'll be able to make the dock. Silver mine, cool. The harbor, yeah. Your Highness? Oh yeah, there are also random events. Prolonged drought has caused a famine. Well, I'm on the, the freaking Feywell. They should get lots of food. There's no more tasty food to eat. Make them work harder in the fields. So I'll get some unrest and plenty of food. Order the Mage's Guild to research a proper farming calendar. I don't want to give up the mana. Work harder. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens. But now I can make what I need. Silver mine is tempting, but no, I don't have a choice. I need the harbor. Hmm. Yay, leveled. Mm, I don't know how boats work. Hopefully I can put people on the boat. Because I, I kind of need to. Producing a bit more money. City's still growing. That's nice. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Research complete. Congratulations. Cool. You have successfully researched a new spell. Yay me. Although now I kind of want Fireball just to handle this little thing. Although. I could just put this spell on him. <laughs> now. Elemental damage plus 20%, right? Because they're weak to it. Should be Don't more effective. Wrong. Seems it. Hmm. On your word. What can I do with both of them? This is my territory. See, oh, it's cheap. Yeah, you see that spells are cheaper when they're casting your territory. So I should have moved her to there and then... Oh, well. Critical hit. Nice. We go long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spell is ready. Quite a bit cheaper. So that's a way to do it. No, they're not attacking. They really should be. It's just taking its turn to heal. Trying to outlast me. Got the dock. On the way of the bow. Hey, no level. Whew. And. Even more XP. So how do the boats work? Do I have to make a boat? I have to make a boat. Mm, movement navy. Uh, okay, but how how does that like how do I get over there? Hmm. I can I just cross? Oh, that will be embarrassing if I can just cross. It seems I can, like it's indicating I can. In this case, I might not have needed the boat. On your word. Yes. The Lord has come. Okay, this is potential for a hero. I don't know why I got like an orc. He's a healer lord. Star, darkness, and light. Mist, rhyme, and rings of water. Sleep, and lightning, and clouds. So you shall eat reality. Okay. 
That's lovely, but I can't afford you, man. Not yet. A new unit is available. I know, thank you. Okay, they, they weren't attacking because... I don't know. Oh! The new spell research is complete. I know why. Because the... My my soldiers here are actually doing something. They were blocking the line of sight on the on the archer. They probably shouldn't, because this is a flyer. But that's that's interesting to note, isn't it? Target. Gray striders. So get your fanny back over there. You're helping. Yeah, they. Okay, they kind of sort of embark like like uh, like Civ Five. Once you research embarking, I wasn't sure, sure that was a thing. It is. That's cool. Yay! So I could have been exploring up here the whole time. Mm, irritating. Sometimes things aren't clear. But I want better fireball. That's pretty expensive. It hits hard, but it is pricey. Firestorm. So it hits an area. Hmm. I want that, because that gives me money. I guess it gives me some range resistance. There we go. We go long. Basic. Oh, I got a spell. Awesome. So now I can do the dispel mini game like Blue Mage. Dispel gets a half cost in your terrain, so you want to cast spells in your terrain. Moves one curse. Dispels one harmful enchantment from a friendly. Okay, I can't strip buffs off enemies. Okay. So it's not quite the Blue Mage thing. It's cool though, I can now freaking expand. It's awesome. Yes. Shadows of Grey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is over here, I wonder? Guy can't land there? Here. Impassable. Why? Oh. Why impassable? It looks like a beach to me, yeah? Maybe you can't disembark the same turn you embark? I don't know. Sometimes things are unclear. Yeah, I must have what it was. We go and I took all my move. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. It's not let me... I, I don't know. Must take a turn. I think that's what they're indicating. Cool. Well, anyway, this is Warlock 2 The Exile. I'm going to play some more of it. It's really cool. Thanks for watching.